Hi and welcome to Fixing Common Monospacing Issues. This video is about Monospacer and Digit Fiddler, which both have the same monospacing capabilities built in. So if you're having trouble monospacing with either of these products, this video is for you. Most of the time, if you drag and drop Monospacer onto your text, it's not gonna work straight away. You'll need to tweak the settings a little bit. But with that said, I've never met a situation where I couldn't get Monospacing working perfectly. It just required a little bit of tweaking. We're gonna go through six different scenarios here, one by one, covering all the different things that could possibly go wrong with Monospacer and how we can fix them. First example, I've got three layers of text and I'm gonna apply Monospacer to each. Top and bottom one are completely messed up and the one in the middle looks great. So why is that? Well, that's because scale matters. If I solo on the one that's working here, uh, we can see its scale is at 100% and it's at a pretty decent size. Straight out of the box, this is working. This is what it should look like. Every character is separated in its own colored world. There's no issues there. With that said, we can fix these other layers. With this layer here, we've got a really small scale, but a really massive font size. So that means that these values here need to be quite large for it to work. And there we go. On the other end, because this layer is so large and its font size is so small, these values need to be quite small. And we can see, well, these aren't separated correctly, so we're going to need to lower the thresholds as well. And now it's working. So although these values are dependent on the scale of the layer, once they're set and then they're correct, doesn't matter what size you make this layer, Monospace's parameters are going to adapt to the size. It's just that you have to get the settings right first, and then it doesn't matter what scale you make the layer, it's gonna work perfectly. Example two is two characters that are particularly tricky. Most of the issues that we have are with either the percentage sign or a colon or semicolon. Let's add monospacer to see what's going on here. So if you're a first time user of the plugin and you're getting this result, you're probably thinking the plugin is mentally challenged. There's something wrong. This, is, this can't possibly be correct, but we can very easily fix this. So first thing is this semicolon here is made up of two parts and they are stacked vertically atop each other. Now Monospacer is considering these as two separate characters. One is in the yellow world and one is in a magenta world. So to make Monospacer know that these two paths belong to the same character, we need to increase the Y threshold. And the reason we needed to increase Y threshold for that is because they're sitting atop each other in the Y axis. Now it just so happens that increasing the Y threshold enough has also fixed the uh, percentage character and then we would just need to increase the character size and now this is perfect. However, I'm gonna reset this and just focus on percentage character. The reason this is a tricky character is because it consists of multiple paths that are stacked sort of horizontally of each other. So Monospacer gets a little bit confused by that. However, just increasing the uh, threshold should be enough to fix that issue. Next example is a common issue where a user will have everything looking correct on the first frame. They've set up the threshold, everything's looking good, all these characters are in their own separate worlds. However, when they go ahead and play, the result isn't correct consistently. The reason for this is if we turn off Digit Fiddler, we can see that the characters are changing all the time. And currently, the reason is they're too close together. Monospace is having a really hard time separating these because these characters are almost overlapping. The way to solve this issue and actually solving many issues with Monospacer is simply increase the tracking so that the characters are evenly spread. We turn Digit Fiddler back on. We can actually remove that tracking afterwards if you wanted to. And if we play it now, we can see there's absolutely no issues. Most issues with Digit Fiddler are caused by the characters being too close together. So remember that increasing tracking makes tweaking these thresholds so much easier. And once you apply Digit Fiddler, you can simply remove the tracking afterwards if you want the characters to be closer together. But this way you can have a much easier time getting the thresholding working if the tracking is generous. Now to the next example. Here I have my text, but it's getting cut off for some reason. The issue is the anchor point is really way off. So usually when I'm working with text layers, I might center the anchor point and that makes things easier. However, we can still see, oh, this is getting cut off here. Why is that? Well, it's because the text here is off screen and Monospacer is simply trying to grab that, copy it and paste it to where it should be, but it can't copy it. It's because it's off the screen, it's essentially blank. And that's why it appears blank in Monospacer. So what needs to be done is the anchor points need to be matched up now everything's working perfectly. However, if I do chop off the text still, you will run into this issue again. So you need to make sure that the text is on the screen. 
If that's not possible, usually what I do is make the comp bigger so that it can go further over and then put that into a new comp and make this comp the correct size that it ought to be. So now I've got the digit fiddler text that's actually off screen, however, there's no clipping. In this example, we've got some text that has a stroke. And when we apply a monospace to this, out of the box, the settings are correct. However, the stroke here is having an issue. We have a five pixel stroke being applied to this text. What needs to happen here is we need to increase the buffer expansion by five. That's gonna allow enough room to accommodate the stroke. It's important to note that buffer expansion and character size are not the same. Character size is how big each character should be. And then buffer expansion is added onto that to accommodate for things such as stroke. This feature was only added in version 1.2 of Monospacer and that was because I received a ticket from a user who wanted Monospacer to work with uh, a stroke and at its default settings it was simply cutting off the stroke so this is why we added in this parameter. I haven't found another situation yet where this buffer expansion is useful but it allows for a wide character stroke. In this last example, I'm rocking After Effects version CS6, so that's why it looks this way. If I've got my monospaced text here and it's looking good and I parent it to a layer, we'll notice something weird happens. And that's because due to a technical limitation, the plugin is reading the position from this layer's position and this is relative to its parent. So that's actually not correct. If we jump back to CC 2019, we'll see that's not a problem at all because After Effects introduced an update in the SDK that allows this plugin to know where it sits relative to the composition and not to its parent. So if you want to use parented transforms, you'll need to be using Monospacer or Digit Fiddler in After Effects CC 2018 or newer. Unfortunately, that's just a limitation with the previous versions of After Effects. That's all the issues that I could think of in regards to Digit Fiddler or Monospacer. However, if you do have other problems, feel free to submit a support ticket, but thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your monospace text.